Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to something that I've never really done before, a tutorial video. I get asked a lot how I do that fancy looking HUD on Kerbal Engineer, and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly go through it. I'm installing it right now just to show you that we are just uh, immediately starting with uh, from practically nothing. I didn't have any mods installed in my game here. This is something I just, uh, just set up prior to the recording of the video. Um, so, what we're going to be doing here is uh, showing off the, the HUD and background sort of uh, functionality of uh, Kerbal Engineer. Now, a lot of people ask me, you know, it's like, well, you know, I, I've, been, I've tried, but I, I can't figure it out. So we're just going to go ahead and go through that right now. Um, I did a previous recording of this, and I started in career, and it didn't work. I'm like, oh, uh, I never do it. Okay, yeah, so let's just go ahead and overwrite that and go right to it. Thank you, uh, whoever you are. Let's go into the VAB. Let's just go ahead and I got it. Thank you very much. MK1 Command Pod. Perfect. Let's go to launch. And we're going to be looking at something that we want to learn from already here. As you can see up here, these timed, uh, this apoapsis and altitude stuff right here. You got Kerbal Engineer right here. These HUDs already are a great example of what you can use to, to learn how to do this. If we go ahead and go to the Kerbal Engineer here on the, um, on the bar up here, you can see that all these have edits, right? You can, the default orbit has edit, and you can, you can float it if you want, you can unfloat it, great. Um, but the default ones, the ones that have been around forever, the orbital service uh, vessel rendezvous, they can't do this special functionality, but the custom ones you can add, like the HUDs here, can. So if we go and take a look at this and edit this one, and you can already see here something slightly different. It has this option for HUD. Now, it will only allow you to do that if well, it will allow you to do that if you just click on that, but it has to be custom. Um, one other thing, if you want to make it look kind of nice and fancy, you can hit background. And as soon as we close that out, we got a fancy new background behind the HUD here. Now, this is something that we've already um, already had available to us, but if we want to go, go ahead and create a new one, we can create a new custom section. And if I wanted to have everything from the orbital section, like I do on, on my game, I pretty much just install all this stuff. Just like this. There's some stuff I get rid of, but it's it's a great example. I have all of it there. I, I don't actually think all of that's in there. I float it. I kind of get in a good position where I want it. I hut it. Great. Great. All right. We got all that stuff there. Background it. Great. Now, after I'm done editing, I got a cool looking background there. Now, um, you know, it doesn't really, you know, it, it's uh, it can be different sizes if you want. So if we go back to the, if we go revert flight to vehicle assembly here. Um, you know, that really depends on what we have here. Uh, let's go to size. I normally have mine on size two. You know, you can have yours on whatever you want. But if we go back, I think we can, I think that information saved from before, you can see that the, that the text is larger. Now, one other thing, if you are like switching between games and you want to save your configuration, this is what I've been doing for quite a long time. Um, we can go into the game data here, Kerbal Engineer, and the thing that actually saves all your configuration for your HUDs and, and your flight engineer and all that is in the settings and the section library here. So you go, you're going to want to go ahead and save this file right here, transfer it over to your new save if you are doing that, like if you start a new save every single time there's a new update or whatever, or you know you're, you, you need to nuke the entire installation. Save the section library, because that is going to save you some time if you get this absolutely perfect the way you want it. Hopefully that all helps you guys. Um, hopefully this wasn't too lengthy. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Keep on questing quest knots. I will see you all later.